Do you have anything concealed? Any weapons or anything like that? No. Okay. Well, no, what's sir. what's with the attitude? Nothing. No, you have an attitude, and what's your problem? I don't have no problem. Yes, you do. I'm good. I can pull you over if I want. That's fine. Because I have a right to uh, ask you what yeah, you're doing I'll over work there. Yeah, I will pull. Okay, it didn't look like you were working. Step back from me some, too. Oh. You get up on me again, we're going to have problems. <laughs> I'm glad you think this is a joke, sir. What? I'll work for it. What were you doing over there? And why aren't you in a marked vehicle? Good. Good. But I didn't see you doing no work over there. And Do you want to go back over there and open the door? You can show that the hands on your back. Right now, yeah, you're obstructing with my operation. No, let me tell you, I mean, I'm working. Look at all this stuff back here. Mr. Finley steps toward Officer Mercado in an attempt to open the back door of his truck to show the officer his work supplies. But as Mr. Finley steps forward, Officer Mercado aggressively shoves him backwards and places him into handcuffs. What did I tell you about getting a bomb? I, I, I was. I was just trying to tell you something that I could prove that I was born. What did I tell you about getting a bomb? I'm sorry, I didn't. Now, you want to be a Oh, I'm sorry. You better shut your mouth. Come here. You set your right there. And you move from there and I'm going to ride your You understand? I don't know who the hell you think. Look at me. Who the hell you think you are? Or where you're from? Where you got some cops like that? You lost your mind. I dare you move from there. I have to prove why I pulled you over. You didn't even let me do that. I'm sorry. Shut the just... up. That's your problem right there. Just... How old are you? If you're nervous, for what? What did you do? Nothing. Right. So what are you nervous about? How do you think I feel? Oh, I, I I'm out here by myself. I don't know if you've got a gun in there. And then I walk up on you and you jump me all, all verbally. I'm 37, sir. I didn't... Okay. We're the same man. Like man to man. Why would you talk to another grown man like the way you did? Like... Just ask you why you pulled me over. I wasn't. I was gonna tell you. Do you know by law we have to tell you why yeah. we're pulling you over? Yeah, I because I can't impede on your civil liberty. But you didn't let me. You become hostile and aggressive. No, I did not. Yes, I you didn't did. Say one yes. word. I just said why you pulled me over. Sir, it's how you say things. Sorry. You should be. But you're getting ready to go to jail. Is there anything in here I need to know about? For what? Uh, for one. Didn't I tell you not to get up on me like that? I didn't. That, that's just I just stood there, sir. I no, didn't. you got up on me, sir. I no, told you I don't get up on me. Is there anything in this vehicle you need to know about? No. I need to know about. Yeah, I need my phone. You don't need it right now. I've got stuff to do, sir. I, I didn't. You got to sit right there. That's what you got to do. Adam, my name is Matthew, and this is all being recorded. Yeah. I'm gonna let you go, but do you understand? I could get you for obstruct obstruction for government yeah. operations. Just listen to me now. Assaulting a, a peace officer, I should take you to jail right now. All right? Let me tell you something. When you come in contact with an officer, mm -hmm. let them tell you why. Don't just start, what are you doing? I was just confused. Don't be confused. Yeah, I'm going to alleviate all confusion. Now, you put yourself in my shoes, sir. Oh, I understand. You're a police officer. Yes, sir. That's my property right okay, there I'm sir. supposed to watch. Are you in a marked vehicle oh. that says railroad? Oh. And where's your plates from? So, now could you see where I'd be suspicious of what you were doing over there? Yeah. What's your name? My name's Chief Chris Kirk. What's that other fellow's name? That's how's this car right here. It'd be Officer Matthew McCarter. Yeah. What I saw is well, you, you want to keep a six foot distance. Well, he should have stepped back away from me because I couldn't go anywhere, sir. You seen it? <laughs> Uh, I've got, I've got, I've got the whole entire video. Good. Over there. Can we but, watch it? Uh, can we? Can, watch can it? I watch it? Yeah. yeah. You have to do it for you on it. What? Freedom of Information Act on it. But from what I saw, he's lucky he didn't go to jail. Who had him? Mm -hmm. For what? Obstruction of justice. What do you do? He interfered with the law enforcement officer's investigation of the site. How do you do that? How do you do that? How'd he do that? Yeah. But when you watch the video, you'll find out. I just got off the phone with the prosecuting attorney. I explained to him exactly what happened mm -hmm. in this situation. And he's advised me to write. You, have you written a citation both for obstructing a governmental operation and refusal to submit to arrest? 
So you will be written those citations right now. This will be taken into account. You right? Now? You'll be going to court. Oh, yes. oh okay. okay. That's fine. So this will be taken into account. Uh -huh. There will be an internal investigation. But from what is seen on camera, uh -huh. and I talked to the prosecuting attorney, just now that I'll phone with him. He told me to have you written those citations. Okay. Driver's license. So I'm getting a ticket for something. Yeah. Exactly. 